I'm Jeff DeBelk of the Woodrow Wilson Center, and we're again at the Global Environmental Change and Human Security Synthesis Conference in Oslo, Norway, I'm talking to Dr. Alexander Lopez, who is the director of the Institute of International Affairs at the National University of Costa Rica, good friend of the Wilson Center, longtime collaborator, somebody who's been working on the environmental security issues way back into the 90s, uh, looking at environment security issues in Brazil transboundary water in Central America and now is doing lots of work on a variety of environmental uh, management issues uh, in Central America. So Alex, maybe you could just say a word about the challenges in that environmental management uh, realm for Central America. Right. Um, I would say that the main two issues now that the Central America countries are uh, placing like priorities um, are basically related to climate change and water issues. Um, in the first place, climate change, because of, for obvious reason, we are in the way to Copenhagen, and this is of course this is like a, a, a key meeting point for all the climate change regime. Um, in terms of in terms of Central American countries, I think that the, probably the priority is how to get a consensus on a regional position that we could have in Copenhagen. Um, this is basically because in Central America you, you have two sort of set of countries. Costa Rica and Panama, a country that traditionally um, have had a position more related to, uh, to mitigation strategies using market mechanisms. Costa Rica has a long tradition in using market mechanisms you know, to deal with uh, climate change issues. And then you have the other countries that basically are more in favor of adaptation mechanisms. So the first, I will say, the first challenge is how to get a unified position for Central American countries. And once this is done, then the next step is to negotiate uh, with the Caribbean countries, with CARICOM, mm -hmm. in order to have a, um, a whole a unified position, uh, not only in terms of Central American countries, but also with the Caribbean countries. And the main reason is because if you take the whole region, what is called the Greater Caribbean region, which includes Central America, mm -hmm. then there is an a, a important aspect that unifies those countries, that this is, like the, this is one of the most vulnerable regions um, in the world. Mm -hmm. So this is, I will say, the, a, a really um, important issue right now. Um, the second one is, 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 has to do with water, water issues. And I will say that the main priority now is how to develop a strategy in order to get past national water laws in Central America. The water law is, is, is I will say, is, 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 is the priority. There is only one country that has a modern water law, and this is Nicaragua. All the other countries have very old uh, uh, laws, basically uh, coming from, you know, the Spanish water law that is, you know, like 100 years old. So um, this is like the institutional aspect that is more important right now in order to get uh, uh, things done in the right way, in, the right way um, in a proper manner. So this is like uh, the second important issue right now in, um, in Central America, I would say. Well, that's terrific. Well, we will look at, uh, look to your institute and your work for continued leadership because I know you're working on many of these issues both on the research side but also with governments and very and practitioners in very practical mm -hmm. ways. So mm -hmm. thank you very much Alex. You're welcome, thank you.